Hi, I'm Jennifer Aguinaldo, your tour guide for the story entitled To Build a Fire Written by Jack London. So, shall we? To Build a Fire started at 9 o'clock in the morning when an old brave man tried to cross the Yukon Trail. A Yukon Trail is in the northern Canada, it's in the border of Alaska and in Colombia. A Yukon Trail is a terrific layer of ice. Um, this man was a Chicago. Chicago was a newcomer from the land, so this is his first winter in the land. That's why he's so excited to feel the, the essence of winter. Before he continued his journey, there was a man from the Sulphur Creek tried to warn him. The man said that he cannot uh, cross the Yukon Trail within 50 degrees below zero alone. He need to be accompanied by someone. But he continued his journey with just a husky dog, accompanied by a, by a Siberian husky dog. So as he goes along his journey, by 12 o'clock, he decided. By 12 o'clock, he decided to take. He took to took his lunch. Um, so he sat and put out his biscuit and he he put out his meat and um to bury it for the biscuit. This time it was no longer 50 degrees below zero. It was 75 degrees below zero. He was so amazed that he can travel four miles per hour. And he continued his journey after eating his lunch. This man was so observant with his surroundings. Um, every step, he knew that um, one wrong move and he, he will die. I mean, he can die. It can cause him to death. So when he reached the Henderson Creek, um, he let the dog to walk first. But the dog knew that it was very um, dangerous. So the dog, the man, walked first, and accidentally one his foot fall I mean fell in the water so he decided to be late for an hour just to build a fire um, at first attempt he built a fire his um, he built a fire was very successful but when the fire was already burning um, he realized that he built a fire under the spruce tree. A spruce tree is a kind of tree where you can see. You can see in winter areas. So in the spruce tree, there are a bunch of eyes in its branches, hanging on its branches. That's why when the fire got burned, the bunch of eyes melted and it all fell on the on the I mean on the fire and then him. So the fire, the roaring fire was gone now. He decided to build another fire in an open area where there were no trees. Where there were no trees. So when he put out the matches, uh, it accidentally fell down in the snow. And he tried to pick them up but this time, he can no longer move his hands, so he decided to fold his arms like this, and he pick up the the matches, and he decided to scratch them on his legs. And the first attempt was not successful; the matches was not burned, and the second was not burned too. But in the last attempt. 20 matches at the same time and when he scratched them on his legs the 20 matches get burned 
and you so you feel so comfortable with the heat and it causes his arms to get burned but this man never but this man um, never gave up so this time This scene, the man remembered something. Before he went to his journey, there was a man, same, same man as him. This man tried to cross a winter area. Um, this man, um, he, he killed his tear just to survive so he thought that I mean, he thought to kill his dog just to survive because he need he need to survive he need to live so when he put out his, his knife he called the dog in a suspicious way and the dog knew that the man um, the dog knew that The man has a plan for him. He he didn't go nearer to the man, but rather he ran away from him. And the man followed him as he ran. And as they ran together, the man fell down. He can see the campsite, but he can never he can never walk. He he cannot be able to stand up. His foot were frozen, and his whole body were frozen now. While the dog was running, the dog noticed that the man was not moving anymore. He come closer to the man, and the dog realized that the man was already dead. Um, the dog don't know how to do, didn't know what to do. So he just howled to symbolize the dog's lamentation for the man. the campsite um, safely but this time he was alone he was no longer with his pastor master um, so the dog was very sad about what happened so now I will show you how the man looks like look like when he died.
Amen. We're closing.